how to write a note for school. I am on a kitchen mission. If you want to get paid for grades, you got to turn it in. High school! So I'm taking Katie to school this morning, you guys. Brennan, <laughs> Brennan normally drives Kate to school, but he overslept this morning. So he um, is gonna get himself ready and come in. And I, I guess I should write him a note too. Um, what? I guess I should write him a note too. He's gonna be late. Uh, I don't know if he's still gonna be there when I get home. That's the thing. You don't gotta write his note on my paper note. <laughs> no, no, that's just your note. It's all good. Hurry, because if you don't have it when we get in there, then are you kidding me? Really, Katie? Are you, are you kidding? You're making me write my own note. <laughs> yeah, I am. You don't have to, you have to be like that. That's right. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, please Ready? excuse. Please admit Katie to school. Excuse me in absence. And not for me. This is how to write, you guys. How to write. Please admit. How to write yeah, a note for school. Note. You have to take it a little bit longer. But where do you, because the bell actually has to ring first. Well, oh. you, then you just don't have to be late. Why don't you just go in? No, because I'll be late walking to my class. I need to already be late when I walk in the door. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> Strategy. You. You. Repping the Donnelly effect pen at school. That's right. You. Okay, you guys. Or Katie, not you. I will hope you have a great day too. Hey, no practice Sean, today. Chat, no. So you, you're coming with Brennan, maybe. I love Yo, you. Love you. Mm, I have a great day. Okay. You too. Thank you, sweet love. Well, hello, sweet girl. Are you waiting for me to come home? I know. Let's go. And she's hiding underneath so she doesn't get rained on. All right, let's go in. Come on. You come in, Brennan. He's still in bed? Hey, you want him up? Um, probably. Is he gonna miss something important? Well, he has uh, government first. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, think yeah. Think they'll lay him off? What? <laughs> I think they'll lay the, him. the government will lay him off. <laughs> probably. Him up? Yes, please. All right, you guys have another big day ahead of us of kitchen cabinet painting. good news is, if you can see those cabinets right there, I have finished all of the, what do you call it, the cabinet part, and the walls, and this wall, and I have also finished all of the doors, which I'm pretty jazzed about, the cabinet doors, but I'm supposed to wait a couple days before I put them up, because they have to, again, cure and all that junk, but um, I am pretty darn proud of the way that they look. I feel like they're supposed to have a furniture-like finish, and by golly, they do. Yeah. So I think one of the keys to this whole thing was making sure to follow all of the instructions in terms of like, after you prime it, make sure that you sand it and then like use, I use paint thinner. They say to use mineral spirits, but that's illegal in my state. So, uh, so use paint thinner to get all the dust off and then you paint. And then when that dries, then you sand it again and then you use the paint thinner again and then you paint it again. When that dries, then you sand it again. So like between each layer you're sanding. And I think that's what made the difference and why these look so good. And I don't mean to brag, I don't mean to boast. I like hot butter on my breakfast toast, but these look really nice. And then we started this, which is this back wall here of our countertop, or of our counter, our island. And that is a great, it's called Distant Star. This is called Chantilly Lace. Like a grayish, bluish, and I am so jazzed with it, I can't even stand it. So that's just one coat right there. So today I'll be busy painting this again. Now I'm not going to do these yet. The, ca the cabinets on this side yet because I'm going away this weekend and I don't want them all off while I'm away. So when I get back, I'll have a nice long stretch of time that I can do that. So I'll do this when I get back. And I took the cabinet door off of that because we need to replace the hinges. Just ordered those last night. I am on a mission, ladies and gentlemen. I am on a kitchen mission. All right, what happened this morning? 
You are, we decided um, last night that Brennan and I have a very similar problem and it is that we pack too much into a day. Is that my banana? <laughs> yeah. It's really technically my banana. I'm pretty sure I bought it. So as my friend Paul says, we try to fit 25 pounds of flour in a 10 pound sack. Does that make sense? Yes. I told him last night that I think he has my disease and that I don't think his life is ever gonna be different. Cause you'll never be content just sitting down, doing nothing. Which I used to, but now it's even hard for me to just sit on the beach. I can't do it. <laughs> Ryan is practicing with his umbrella and speaking Australian. Why? Why Why are you doing that? I'm going to Australia. All right, it's a rainy day out here. I smell speaking British. British. Do not, we got that umbrella on our cruise and I don't want to lose it. I feel like Mary Poppins. Whenever I'm holding an umbrella, I just feel like I should fly away. Oh, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? That'd be dope. My favorite movie in the whole wide world. Oh, so it's a great movie. It is a great movie. Mary Poppins 2 was really good too. Oh yeah. I really liked it. Did you see it? No, I didn't. It was really good. I saw it on an airplane coming back from somewhere, England, I think. Oh, really? Uh-huh, perfect. What? I should have watched it on the way to England. Yeah. Because it's British. I mean, well, it's just a pivot sport tea, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, oh, sport tea sounds very good on a day like today. Oh, mate, oh, I'm telling you, a little didgeridoo of sport tea. <laughs> oh, mate, get some quads. <laughs> I don't see. Hey, that. shout out to our friends in Australia. I hope they're doing well. I hope they have recovered yes. or are recovering from the fires. Yes. That was sure. and still is very tragic. So, mm -hmm. a shout out to, to our friends in Australia. Australia. Have a great day at school. Like you might. You're gonna uh, need your books. Did you brush your teeth yet? It's um, no, I was just about. Okay, now you're just now you're wasting my, time. My, my, now my, you're wasting was, time. What? I'm all ready except for brushing my teeth, and then I came out here just to test how the weather was, and I brought an umbrella. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> All right, so the kids are at school and I'm finishing up this part of my project. So I took out all of the blue painter's tape. I just threw it away, sorry, but I took the blue painter's tape off of like the corners there, the corner there, the corner there, and over here. So like I was painting this, so I put blue painter's tape on the refrigerator to make sure that, you know, I wouldn't get anything. Well, look what happened. Apparently, I did paint the refrigerator. Can you see that? Like all the way, actually it was all the way up here. Don't tell Mike. I'm really surprised because look at over here, for example, on this side of the stove, I didn't even put blue painter's tape and I didn't get anything on the stove. So I am like flabbergasted. So I got it on the stove too. Look, when I took off the paint, oh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. So. This one, I started to scrub. I've scrubbed with everything. I tried Tile X. I tried the grease cutter. I tried Goo Off. I tried um, the sponge, obviously, and it didn't work. So what I've resorted to doing... <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. I colored it in with black marker. Watch. Watch how this works. See? Can't even tell. <laughs> oh, well, a little bit. <laughs> Oh, so tip number one on your painting project, don't paint the appliances. Going to get my nails did with my mommy. Ah. <laughs> I know, I know, the fit's amazing. <laughs> I know it is. It really is. I, I'm, I don't know, she's got Vans, gray sweatpants, and a fancy Ruins the cross sweater. sweatpants. Oh my gosh. Could not tell you where. I actually don't know how these ended up in our house. Okay, yeah. It's like an exchange. It's a clothing exchange, basically, at our house anymore. Yeah. Our clothes end up elsewhere. Other people's clothes end up here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How are we going to go get our nails did? Anyway, how was your day at school? It was good. It was? Give me something good. Mm. I understood my chem notes. Oh, good. Okay. Kind of. You have an A in chemistry actually, right now. Do I really? Uh-huh, I saw. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I also have a, an A and everything else because <laughs> I haven't like accidentally turned something in wrong or anything. <laughs> it's the beginning of the marking period. Yo. So Brendan said, um, hey mom, we never got paid for our grades for marking period. You know what I said? Because nobody gave me their report card. I didn't get it. Yeah, you did. Did 
Do we really? Yeah. I don't remember. You had a paper a version. Card. I got a paper version. All right. So when you get your report card, if you want to get paid for grades, you got to turn it in. Um, mm-hmm. Well, it's What do you guys think? Online, should we pay our kids so, for grades? No. no. I don't think you should pay us for grades. I think we should be rewarded in some other way that does require money, but not you giving it to us, you know? <laughs> oh, so you give me money? No. I like that idea. Like, bye, mm -hmm. Mike. Elizabeth, how, with you? how many um, days left or months left until you're allowed to get your permit? Um, on March 25th. <gasps> That's very exciting. Okay, see you later. Love you, bye. All right, you guys, it is dinner time. Well, almost dinner time on Monday. I am making, today's dinner is chili, turkey chili. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Does it smell good? It smells amazing. Excellent, and I'm heating up. It's called it's pizza dip, you guys, and it is so good. Every time I make it, people love it. And I got this recipe from my sister's, my sister's sister-in-law's neighbor. Get that? So it's my sister's husband's brother's wife's neighbor. Wow, Done. that's crazy. I know. My leftovers are the best. Though. They are the best. Look, these are some leftovers from the Super Bowl party yesterday too. These are little hand sandwiches. Wait, can I have them? Yeah. Okay. They're cold. You might want to heat it up a little bit. Oh. Right. So okay. today Ryan got his course selection sheet for high school. Hi, are you? Are you? You need to. Oh yeah, because I moved all these. I'm sitting stools. on this. You are I'm sitting on this. I moved all the stools because I'm painting under there for the yeah. new kitchen. It's the full so exciting for the blue chair. It is. Um, oh gosh. Okay. So, so Ryan, talk to us. Tell us what's going on. So this is crazy. crazy. You don't need to be acting like that. But I'm sad. He's my baby. That's crazy, actually. Uh, yeah, can you believe you're thinking about high school? Bro, I don't... I've got so much more life to live. I um, know. Anyway. You do be growing up. So... You do be growing up. Uh, teachers, you got recommendations. I recommended for uh, all APs. Um, I'm Funny. actually insane. I'm kidding. You're rec recommended for all honors classes, which is good. I don't want to... Congratulations. Yeah, I don't want to take any APs my freshman year, and there's not a lot of APs. There's only one, and you shouldn't take it. Yeah, so anyway, I'm taking Honors English, Honors US History, Honors Biology, and Honors Geometry, and then French too. Bro, I Honors know Geometry you're... is awful. I literally, oh, no. hate, I literally hated that class, but have fun. Oh, great, thanks. <laughs> you should take ASL, um, not French. I, I know you were going to say that, but I've thought about it, and I want to take French. And he's going to Montreal. And I'm going to Montreal. Mm -hmm. Quebec, actually. Then there's <coughs> uh, one of the more important classes. So this is what I actually want to talk about. So I have a electives. recommendation for you. All right. <clears throat> I bet you have 10,000 recommendations. Take your required classes. Like freshman and sophomore? No. Try and get them, most of them done sophomore year. Or freshman year. <laughs> like if you can get your, because I'm taking an art right now. Right. Art and health are the only two that I still have to take. Right. Like required. Well, hmm. and like my core classes, but like, the yeah. only other like um, graduation requirements I'm doing right now are art and health, and I think I could have done one of those things last year, but I didn't, and it was like dull me. Okay. Shy anyway. Mark, I don't have to. Oh, Brennan, like right on time, huh? Hey, Brennan, welcome home. How's practice? What's talking about? Guess what, Brennan? Oh, oh. Oh, you did it. You, that's right. You just went to work out. Correct. Guess what we're talking about? Nothing good, probably. It smells good in here. Right? Thank you. Oh, of course it's for next year. I should probably talk about my course for next year. Too. Yes, I would love to know. Do you have them already? But no, the ah! I have to go to my go homework. So okay, anyway. Home so home. I'm taking uh, PE and team sports because I don't know why they don't have team sports golf. And I'm going to be bringing that up with Kelsler. Okay. I think you should. Um, they have lacrosse, basketball, football, soccer. Uh, wait, lacrosse, baseball, football, basketball, soccer. There's team sports, baseball. And I don't think I've ever seen that. Ryan, let me help okay. you. Thank you. Yeah, because Katie's not being a huge help. She's just complaining about Gov homework and ASL. All right. Uh, so this is the one I want to ask you about. So um, for tech ed, I'm <laughs> I'm going to be taking flight in action and practical programming. Is that you have class? to take all? No, of not those. for tech ed. For tech ed. I don't know. Oh, I see. Okay. I don't know. I, I don't know anything. Like... But there is. Dude, you're going to be doing both. You're going to be doing both of these. One first semester and one second semester. It's oh really? Required. 
Yo. No, no, it's not required. No, there's a new thing this year. I now the Oh, so then don't take tech ed. Don't take tech ed. <laughs> <laughs> don't take tech ed. I gotta be in Do tech not take I got C's. If you're, right. if, you're, if, you're, if you're interested in tech ed, take it. But, but like, no, like, this is work. not nearly as fun as you think it's gonna be. Okay, it's cool. literally so boring. And okay. Also, I can take lifetime sports, which is <laughs> it's so lifetime fun. They, 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 they said it was like bowling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tennis. Ping pong. Tennis. Things you can play forever. I was like, golf? <laughs> Um, yeah, that's yeah. a good one. So, I don't know. I don't even know who teaches that class. Yeah, and anymore. then Avid, obviously. Love that yes, class. Good. Um, And then, yeah, I don't know about Tech Ed, but there is uh, one of the high school electives is speech and debate. Which they said, it's a lot of writing, but it's a fun class, and I love debating. It's not arguing, it's debating. That'd be very good for you. Can't stress that enough. But um, there's a lot of writing, though, so I'm not, I'm not too fond about that. Well, you write but, your speeches. Yeah, I know, but like still. Um, so wait, what are your so your core classes are what? Honors English nine, honors US history, honors biology, and honors geometry. Do you think you're gonna do honors for all this? Yeah, probably. I, I don't know about English though. I don't, I don't like that class. I like Miss uh, Miss McD. Did you do all Is, honors, Brennan? Yeah. Freshman year. Can you I don't know. Your little brother going to high school, Brennan. That's crazy. That's gonna be crazy. We, we're I'm gonna, gonna have. A I've got more decisions to make because I'm cutting down my classes. Yes. So oh. I, gotta, I gotta pick and choose wisely. That's right. Um, we're gonna have a freshman, the young, the young blood. We're gonna have Katie as a junior. She's gonna be chilling, and then Brenda as a senior, which is gonna be fun, actually. So um, all in one school. Yeah, but we all agreed, Brenda. What's the agreement when we see each other in the hallways? No eye contact. Oh, don't talk to each other. You did not agree that. Yeah. I totally disagree. I totally doubt that that's We have a signed case. document, Mom. Oh my gosh. Cool. Anyway, guys, those are our classes. Hold uh, up. Okay. So, I have to make... At our school, they offer partial schedule for seniors. Right. So, I'm definitely oh, right. taking partial schedule. So, I'm very ball, interested like in social studies. So, history, geography, um, government. So, I want to take AP Econ. I kind of wish they gave us more. I'm uh, so excited to learn. More classes, but just less time. More classes, less time. Because oh, there's, so there's, some, there's yeah. some classes there's that I kind of want to take. Classes. Yeah, but you don't have the. Yeah, well, so. Or have? that I that I took and that I didn't want to take. Consider not doing a partial schedule and just take classes. That's a joke, right? No, I mean, if you want to take the classes, they're free right now. That would be fun to take them, and you can decide. Help you if you're a senior and you're doing yeah. personal schedule, time would be better you spent working, then turn, then working out. He's getting the bread. Oh. Getting the bread, and then he eats that bread for carbohydrates, and he gets gains. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what he said. Yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? It's Ryan here, and I'm chilling in Katie's room. was probably being confident with my high school classes because I was kind of worried about that, but we're chilling oh, now. I low-key need to fill mine out for next year. Oh, yeah. That's, a, that's pretty important. Um, your happy day was getting a lot of my... I had a good day at school today, low-key. Sick. I was just kind of, you know, like, driving and surviving, you know? Sick. So, uh, yeah. See you guys. Come on with me, guys. Happy day. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.